November 11th, 2010. A date that will live in infamy. The creation of the Booster Busters. A group of honest gamers decide to take matters into their own hands in the war against boosters. It all began innocently enough in Call of Duty Black Ops. Cobra, standing by. Uh, get that. Lost some place, you better get out of here right now. You're not a booster. Who's everyone at? Five oh my five. god. Lost, you stupid fuck. Then we realized there were boosters in other games too. No longer would the honest gamers sit idly by it and let the cheating boosters get their XP for free. Enter Battlefield Bad Company 2. So let's turn the corner and jam it square up their bum. And here it comes. Oh, there it is. Oh, he did not like that one bit. Crikey. Not to be left out, Modern Warfare 2 had a huge problem with boosters, which we dealt with accordingly. Okay, I do it one more time, then I'll have 29. Yeah. Oh, wow, dude. Yeah, we can kick him. Why, man? I thought it was my turn. So if there ever was going to be one game that would be booster-free, it was going to be Battlefield 3. Unfortunately, the boosters had other plans. Witness the evolution of Booster Busters! Yo, can you listen to me? Seriously, stop talking. Alright, which one of you guys has a defib? Okay, yo, watch out! Oh shit, look out! Look <laughs> out! Fucking wrong button! Oh my god. Oh, fuck! Yo, I'm about to quit if you don't sh yeah. the door. <laughs> Basically. Throw it on a radio beacon, one of you guys. Radio beacon, okay, mine's going down. There you go, done. Alright, good to listen. Grenade! Oh my god. Who just threw the nade? That was supposed to be the fucking... My tack and third thing, you said! What thing? You said to put a radio beacon thing down. Yeah. I thought I had that. 